What's up, Bobbin? Hello. You know how people call you Bobbin? You're the only one. No, no, no. no, no. My, my music teacher has called me Bobbin. Bowie Menez has called you Bobbin. I call him Rui. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, how have you been, man? I'm good, man. Thank you so much for having me at Paco's uh, Place. Are you kidding me? I'm so happy that Paco's Place is finally, finally here. Yeah. It's finally. Like, pero, finally. Okay, it is because you're, you're not the first. You're not the first what? guest. JJ's the first. Actually, Janelle was the first. Well, she has to be the first. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. But, but it's good to have you. Thank you. You're I'm not, so happy to. I'm so happy it's here. We're here talking. Yes. Like everything that, that uh, we want to bring to fruition, we can do it here. Absolutely. We can say bad words. Whatever like, we want. Oh, my God. Like sheet of paper. Yeah. And... Uh, Pacos, please. Yeah. And uh, as you were saying... <laughs> 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 mother, mother, father, brother, brother sister. sister. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, are you settled in? I am still settling. You were gone for a while, huh? What I mean, are you went, talking about? No, no, you went home to the Philippines. You launched Wish and then you left. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we were supposed to, to do things. a bunch of shows, but you left. But now we're back. 2020 is a new thing. Yes. It's a new decade. And you're looking for a place to stay. Looking for a place to stay. The American bug is hitting me hard. Oh, my I've God. I've already had to cancel a credit card. What, what else? Because someone was using it. So. Are you serious? Yeah, already happened. Wait. America. Really? I'm serious. Identity theft? Almost. Almost. Almost there. So the, the Wells Fargo, oh. they immediately cut it. They were like, this doesn't seem like he's son. <laughs> they, they thought, when I called them, they go, you bought something that we didn't think you were going to buy. You know what it was? What? It was some dietary supplement. Are you serious? You know, <laughs> some fiber-filled okay. thing. I was like, you're what? right. I wouldn't buy that. But it's not So I went to uh, uh, Chase. My bank called me. And said, I think there's some fraudulent, uh, hmm. there is some fraudulent transaction on your card. I go, can you tell me what it was? And then he said, yes. Best Buy. Huh? A $700 purchase at Best Buy. And I'm like. That's probably you. And I'm like, wait. Sir, did you do this? I go, yes. And then I go. Why? There's another transaction at Yoshinoya for $8. Was that you? <laughs> and I go, oh, why? Because that is, uh, that's what we think is yours. And we don't think the Best Buy is yours. Pana, that sounds like me. <laughs> diba? Para weird ba yata ron. But anyway, so how's your credit score better na? Oh, we were talking about that. I still haven't used my credit card. <laughs> How about? Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know how to use a credit card. I'm like, I'm gonna buy something. I can pay for it. Here you go. <laughs> so yeah, you have a job in the states, then? I do because of you and then JJ and JJ. I, I handle. I'm a caregiver manager. Oh, right. Healthcare. Get can't healthcare. go wrong with healthcare. Can't go wrong with that, except for my health. Re- recession except proof. For, <laughs> recession By the way, proof. Uh, speaking of that, uh, JJ actually kind of holds the record of longest talk. I mean, really? well, not. Well, really. you just started this thing. No, no, no. We had Bigaten who, who was like, uh, I think, only three minutes above JJ's uh, monologue. Pocket doesn't count because Pocket was a band. But JJ... Who by does, himself. By himself. Who's playing cameraman today. Uh-huh, who's our technical director. Who doesn't talk. Actually did 52 minutes. I gotta watch that episode. Yes. Just to be like, what did you talk about for 58 minutes? 52. 52. See, that's... You're, you're We're a, on five minutes. You you didn't say to JJ. What did I say? I go. You better listen to everything you said. Was should it should we cure it? No, no, no. We don't need to cure. <laughs> no <laughs> curing. No cure. This is organic. So what have you been up to lately? So, the job. Okay. Keeping me busy. I just had the the Martin and Pops tour. How'd that go? Went very well. Um, always goes well. They 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 they're not hard to sell, you know. So, um, it was fun because my baby brother who plays drums. Wait, played. wait, who plays the drums? Santino. Santino plays the drums. You play guitars. What does Ram do? Ram sings very well. He sings better than me. Not anymore. Mm. Ah. But if he took it seriously, he would have he been much better than me at singing. So everybody was there. 
Yes. So when you when he played when when Santino played the drums, hmm. you you were playing guitars. Did yeah. You, did your dad sing? He, yes. We had a number. We sang a Green Day song. Really. This one. Really, your dad sang. Yeah, he had to because the boy knows how to play that. And then we played Happy, and we played it slower. And I think it's because the teacher didn't want to teach my 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 brother the real tempo because because. And there was a whole miscommunication of the musical director gave a slow version so we can learn it. And then I don't think he, they ever got the real version, the, the original version. So the teacher just never taught him the original tempo. So and I was like, he could totally play that. Who was, who's, who was the musical director for your mom and dad's concert? Laurie Lustre. The teacher of my brother Speaking said he of, never sent it. The reason why I ask, Laurie Lustre is related to J.J. Buen Camino, by the way. Really? Cousins, Tito. Uncle. Uncle. Yeah. That's super cool because the uh, Laurie, who's the most quiet musician yeah. next to his nephew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's good. That's good. But um, he, he gave me this thing years ago, maybe 20 years ago already. What was it? <clears throat> I think his son was also learning the guitar and he gave his son <coughs> this folder. Scales, chords, things oh. till this day that I read and went, you don't understand this. I didn't understand it. And then someone from, from, an, from a band showed me what it meant. Till this day, I haven't forgotten it. So, uh, so it's because of was, it, was it a thin book like that? No, no, no. no. It's, a, it's, 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 it's as big as this. Yeah, okay. No, like 100 pages. And I'm not going to read all 100 pages. Of course, of course. I'm lazy. But the things that he pointed out, he goes, learn this, learn this. There's five things. It was the blues, pentatonic major minor scale and then just how to play some chords and it showed it because if you're going to do a seven here you can do it like that i go oh that's really interesting i never forgot it i just kept understanding it more and more and more now people people might not know this unless they watch your videos or watch you in concert but you're which you haven't <laughs> you're 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 you're, uh, you're an awesome guitar player that's nice to hear no 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 it's nice to hear you play i've played with you on a couple of occasion, uh, occasions, we've also done sessions for. Yep, that was fun. For uh, Noel Palomo and um, Dodo Cruz. That was very fun. Ang comment ko about you, okay, and because nagtanong sa akin si Jonathan Buen Camino, how did it go? Mm. This is what I said. For someone who did not experience the '90s as it was happening, you. Played it the way it was supposed to be played. I need you to know that I'm a '90s baby. Explain. I was born. I was, Explain. I was born '86. Yeah, but then again, bata ka nudi. Yeah, I was a kid, but I started learning. I started learning to play the guitar in the '90s. So the youth, Shakol, yeah, Hinge Voice, um, Wolfgang. I, I I hear you guys all the time on the radio, and I didn't learn all your songs, right? But I know the sound. Yeah. Yon, na huli mo talaga pati yung essence ng paggitara. It was like if I closed my eyes and I was playing drums and you were right, you were on my left. I could let you go with, and then and then if I look at you, parang oh my god, I'm playing with you, and it sounds so authentic. <laughs> Tell me, what's your background with guitara? Oh, my favorite guitarists are well, there's, a, there's a bunch. Um, Jimmy Page is the first one. I like Prince. I didn't like yeah. him before, but now I do. I, I, that's that's the shame. I, I started to like him after he passed. Oh. See, so I missed I missed out on on good Prince. Um, Jimmy Page, Prince, um, Dave Matthews is a big inspiration yes. as a guitarist, okay? and okay. A, and a and a writer. He's one of my favorite writers. People will say John Mayer because I'm gonna put yeah. him on that list. But if you listen to what Dave Matthews does on the guitar and he sings. That's why um, when, we, when we played Sexy Strut, Vic was like, he's trying to learn the riff of the verse. I go, no, 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 I, you do whatever you want. I got it. He goes, you can do that and sing. I go, yeah. And he goes, how did you figure that out? I go, because Dave Matthews does the same thing. Yes. He plays riffs instead of chords. And I was yes. like, that is amazing. Yes. So I didn't, I didn't learn how to sing and play Sexy Strut in, in the beginning. I had to teach myself because I wrote the chord before oh. I, I, I did the thing. So I know how to do it with my, like with, without doing anything because I, it's just practice, 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 practice. So, you're going to do it with your phrase, 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 your phrase,
So I, it's, I don't know how to explain that. It's just practice and you find the right timing with the finger and in your voice, right? That's a lesson thing. But I love doing that. Because it's like all these people who play rhythm guitar, they're just, they're playing that yes. one G chord, come on, all day, baby. But I'm like, you gotta, if you're going to learn my song, if you like Sexy Strut, uh, and you're going to learn yeah. it, you're going to have a hard time. And I want you to do that because nowadays, you look at all these, all these um, performers, the most famous ones, except for Ed Sheeran, there's no guitar in their music. Maybe it's like one, you know, the Maroon 5 song, right. it's one. Shink, yeah, shink, yeah. Shink. That's Maroon 5 in a nutshell. So I hate that. Because guitar sales, I don't know why we're going here, but they're, they're not doing very well. They're not. So people are like, man, only the Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift guitars you're buying. I was actually selling you my, my, my Les Paul Jr. with an exactly. orange amp and you even denied it. I didn't deny it. I want it. The problem is my dad got me a, a Meteor oh, for, Fender. For Christmas. For Christmas. <laughs> which I was like, I'm a Fender guy. So <coughs> if you're listening, Fender, <laughs> especially the Meteor, I'm a big fan. So... so um, I, I'm a guitarist. I want people to play the guitar too. There's nothing wrong with the drums. There's nothing wrong with the bass. Nothing wrong with the keyboards. But my instrument, I feel, is dying. And I don't want it to die. Yes. Right? The guitar is like the 80s, 90s, the 70s too. You know, it's all that. And then the beginning of the 2000s, you're not using it. So I don't want that. I want to bring it back because I love it. Your music is guitar oriented. No? Yes. <laughs> um, ang nakakatuwa, what I like about your music, it's. And we talked about this kind of deja vu. Um, lower your mic a little bit down. <laughs> Sorry. So, what I, what, I, what I wanted to find out, when you write your songs, and you mentioned a while ago you'll play riff, do you write the riff to the songs or uh, before the songs or do they come after the song? No, the words are always last for me. Wow. So, it's probably the sexy shot. We'll use that example. Yeah. I actually wrote that with Zia in the room. Oh, okay. So sexy strut, what it, it, it really means, strut means the way yeah. someone walks yeah, and sexy yeah, is that. Yeah. I think I wrote it because she was walking in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> but but, but, but we, of, were, we were dating again. Oh, it, it, it was oh. years way before we dated, but she was in the room with me. But instead of writing lyrics, you did the riff. I did the riff first. I go, this is a really cool riff. And she was there. I didn't talk to her about it. We were in the dressing room. And parang she went up to get something, and she came right. back. And I, 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 I've always thought she was super, super pretty. So I, I, I played this thing. You know, I do it in the backstage. I always have a guitar, and I'm playing with it. And I came up with that riff, and I never forgot that riff. So from that ah. riff, that first riff, that's why I like, Vic, I got it, because that's very important to me. Of course. Everything else came after it, and words came way after, but it started from that riff. By the way, if they want to listen to our version of Sexy Strut, they can they can click the link in the description and uh, it'll take them to our YouTube video with you singing, not feeling well during the time that we... I'm still not feeling well, but yeah. I know. So tell me about the other songs. Like, uh, this is this is like a deja vu conversation. <laughs> but, <laughs> we'll put it this way. Sexy Strut is from my first album. Okay. The first album is called Overweight. O-V-E-R-W-A-I-T. Got it. It just makes sense. So, so because that overweight is the word that everyone gets to me. when like, oh, Robert, you're so overweight. I go, That's so well, Pinoy. It is Pinoy. Right? But I didn't spell it like that. I spelled it like it took forever for me to write this album. So I thought that was just a fun pun. Um, it's on Spotify, but please, for the love of God, don't listen to it. Really? Don't, because I'm re-releasing it. On your website. When I, when I, the thing is also is I might change my name because the label is saying that they're going to hold those songs forever. So in other words, I might not be able to sell it. Now, I don't want to resell these songs. I don't. What I want to do is I want you to hear it. Right. Because I have a lot of fun performing them. I had so much fun writing them. My, whoever plays with me, they always say, we have so much fun yeah. playing your songs. I so, can say that. And Sexy Strut is one of them. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't want to waste those songs. So as an artist now living in the States, I, and I also um, my, my favorite performance there was a time after I released my first and second album, which I'll get into, I wanted to quit. I super wanted to stop this because I thought I wasn't a good writer, wasn't a good uh, musician, wasn't a good singer. All those three things. I did a gig in Hong Kong in front of no one Filipino. I don't know why they invited us. They just heard us and they were like, we like you, please come here. So we, we paid for our own tickets and we went. They made us the last performers 
Headliner? Headliner. We were like, you sure you want us to headline? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, all these Hong Kong local bands and some foreign bands performed there. Very underground. 300 people showed up. And when we performed, our first song was Sexy Strut. And we, I had two versions of Sexy Strut. I had the one that we all learned that you will listen to. Yeah. But because I didn't think that was clicking with Manila, I made a softer version. We didn't start as heavy as we do. Uh-huh. It's really different. So when I said we're doing Sexy Shot, I said we're doing the heavy one. They were like, okay, we're about to do this. Everybody <laughs> loves the heavy one. So after we performed it, the people were dancing. They had no, they've never heard the song in their life. They have no idea who I am. But they were dancing. They cheered. They, they, they tried to sing along. I turned around. The first thing I told the band, and till this day they'll they'll remember this. I said, "Guys, we're not doing anything wrong," and they were like, "Yeah, we're not." And then we did six more songs and had so much fun, and everybody was like, "That was really great." But where can we find you guys? There's no Spotify yet. So anyway, because of that gig, I didn't want to stop doing it because then I figured, yeah, it's not you know, See, it's not the songs. It's not it's not the songs. It's more of maybe Manila's not ready for it. Yes, but. There's a bigger world than Manila. Galing. There's a bigger world than OPM. And I was like, just because you don't like it now doesn't mean it's a bad song, right? Right. Because everyone kept telling me, move on, move on, move on. <coughs> Hence why I made the second album really quick. What's the title of the second album? Nightmares. I Nightmares. Didn't even say it. <laughs> it's called Nightmares. <laughs> so um, that's why when I, when I, before I came here, I recorded five songs from each of the albums, the ones that I really do perform. From them, and now I'm going to re-release them again. The way I wanted to release them. <laughs> so, you actually <coughs> caught me at um, changing your name. Yeah. You, serioso ka talaga ron? I don't know about that yet. I don't want to change it. I know, it's nice. It's nice, but the thing is, I want to put these songs again on Spotify, and what I don't want is if they don't want to take down my songs, that's why I'm telling you not to listen to them. I'm not about to put two sexy struts. You could. And you listen to the wrong one. But you could. That's why I want a different name. Ah. So okay. I'll be like, go to follow this person instead. Right, right, right. And you can't get mad because I'm not even going to, I mean, I'm not going to charge you for it. It's going like to be. Robin Rivera Music. Make well, music your last name. <laughs> that's super, <laughs> that's super 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 So, okay, let's talk about. Uh, <clears throat> so, you, did, you just did your tour with your mom and dad. Yes. That's done. Is, is there is there going to be one more or that's there will it? be one in February and um, I decided to go back to Manila to do that I'll be back don't worry I'm not <laughs> I need money I need money so I'll be back in less than a month I your, your work is so lenient <laughs> we'll talk about that later <laughs> when this is off <laughs> but um, I also don't want to the Martin and Pops tours now I, I didn't realize how big they were until every time I see them do things together. Cher. Like, like Cher, Cher, and what's his name? Um, <laughs> what's his name? Who? The husband of Cher. Oh, they, Bono. Bono? Yeah. She Did you Bono? No. Sunny. Sunny. What's his last name? Not, Bono. Not Bono. Sunny Bono, right? Yes. I thought Bono you too. No, but see, I was, see how young I am. I was, I was half good. We have, we'd like to say Bono. I do. Miss Mary at Velayo in the house. Hello. Hello. Hope you're having fun. <laughs> okay, go. So mom and my mom and dad, um, they're really great together. They're really great apart. And they're really great with other people. But, this, you're, you're, but when they're together, I'm I'm the kid and I'm I'm very unbiased. They're very good together. Okay, game. You're desensitized, correct? Because but with what? With the fact that they're there. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. I'm so, super desensitized. So when people go gaga <laughs> over, what happened? Okay. When people go gaga over your mom and dad, you, you can't relate that, right? You, or you, you no. Could, no, you can't relate. I can't relate. And so you decided to do this story with them. I decided to do it because they're mom and dad. <clears throat> but I also understand that this is like the latter part of their career. Right. I don't know if they're going to do this tour again. Right. And... I'm going to be like the only guest there. I'm not doing it to build my fan base. Yeah. I'm not even going to go there and promote my album that's coming. Or, you know, I won't promote anything Robin Ibera. Okay. I'm doing it because I got to be a part of the Martin and Pop thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it as like a Filipino singer 
who, who, who makes the oh, most oh. sense to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pero ay nakakatuwa. Okay, so when you did it, when you were there, how did it feel? Like pre-production. I wasn't there for pre-production. I wish I was there for pre-production. I love pre-production. Um, they treated me like a kid. It's their show. I don't want to bug their show. I wasn't there in the 80s. Did they spoil you? I was there in the Did 80s. Did they spoil you? I'm super spoiled. But I'm trying to not be spoiled. <laughs> hence why I'm okay. in America. <laughs> You're America. But I am very spoiled. Okay. I know it and I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> I wish I wasn't. Life would be very different. But that's where I am. The What was the question? question is, like when you were there, pre-production, hmm. you, you weren't there. No. I wasn't in the 80s. So I don't understand what life was like for the entertainment business, especially the beginning part of OPM. That's the beginning, right? Yeah. I wasn't there for that. So I'm not going to put my, my, I know <laughs> all this, you know, in that. I wanted to, it's their show. Right. And, it, and it's a Martin and Pops reunion show. Don't mess with that. How did you, you, don't, you don't mess with the Backstreet Boys coming back no, together. No, 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 no. You don't mess with, who's broken up? I don't know. And sync. And sync. You don't mess with that. Spice Girls, don't mess, don't mess with, with that. So, I am the kid. I'm not going to mess with that. You make me sing whatever you want. We'll do it. I'm just happy to be here. So what was the next question? So the next question was, so you did it now. You're there now. So you're desensitized to the fact that these are uh, your parents, yeah. right? And then what they name our audience? They go nuts. Till now, they, they still go nuts. It was there a smile on your face every time the audience would go nuts? There's a smile on my face when I see them connect with them. Because uh, they both have parts in, in shows that they really do on their own where my dad goes off stage and he, you know, he sings with the crowd, he connects with them. And then my mom has her part where she, like, when she comes in, whenever the, whoever concert she's doing this with, any singer she's ever done a concert with, she always comes in after a slow song. Really? So it's always like, okay, you're, you're going to the part where, you know, everyone's got to have a slow song. And then you're like, oh, it's such a great song. And then here comes Pops. She brings the party back up. And that's her thing. You know? Uh, and I'm like, I okay. Concert queen. Okay. And yeah, yeah. everyone dances. But then she has a medley of like eight songs. And they all start dancing towards like the sixth. Right. Everyone goes nuts. So I'm like, okay, that's why they're so good together. And now, based on that, there's Martin and Pops. And then there's Robin Yavetta. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> your I've I've listened to your music. Okay. And I like it. And it's very different. I think you're an old soul and I think it's ahead of your time or ahead of a lot of people's time. Okay. Thank you. How? How where did where did you find your, your voice? How did you find your voice? I don't I was never into it on copying someone. I never liked the whole um Crooner at that time, crooner got it. No, but no, no, that's not even it. I didn't. I don't like it when people say. If you if you told me right now, if I wrote a song and showed it to you, and you said, "Hey, that sounds like a John Mayer song," the you second you say oh. that, it is out the window. Really? Yeah. I'm like, and I, I love John Mayer. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't want to be like. And people call me. They like, Robin. It's, it's like John Mayer of Manila. Like, I'm totally not John Mayer of Manila. That's Paulo Santos. Yeah. Not even. I, I'm, I'll go as far as it's Jensen Gomez. If okay, you don't okay. know him, go find him. And Mr. Castaño. So those those guys are more yes, like him because yes. they play like I play like him. I, I, I've learned a lot of guitar from John Mayer, but I, I, I'd like to say that I'm I, I'd be like John Mayer if you kicked him in the balls <laughs> and you got him really pissed. That would be more me. But I I, I want to sound as different as I can be because it's like a creative thing. You know, it's like, I want to, each song I want it to be different from the last one. I want to, I want to show you that I was inspired by a lot of things like the, the bands I was into. I want to put that in a song, but I don't want to play exactly what they played. You know what I mean? Yeah. But don't you think you're too hard on yourself? Being self, uh, self, I wouldn't say self deprecating, maybe more than that, self critical. Because, so what if you sound if you sound like um, so what if you sound like John Mayer? Eh, paano ko maganda naman yung song? If the song is good, that's different. Because so because I right now I don't have a hit. Okay, like you you guys have hits and yeah. when they when they think of intro voice, there's like five songs in their head. Yes, you can't do that with me yet. 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 Well, hopefully, but um, that's what I want. But I, don't you think you've left? 
Uh, um, I uh, left the country, man. No, no, no. <laughs> But, <laughs> don't you think you've left some, some, some songs on the table just by scratching them? No, I don't think so because that's why I take forever to write <clears throat> words. Ah. I want to commit to the music first, and then if I if I can, you know, that's why I really take time. There's only one song that I've ever written overnight, and I told JJ about this. It's called Rain. Oh. And the only reason I wrote it. It's because I had nine songs, and I was like, "Sign them, and it's cooler when you says ten, <laughs> right?" So overnight, I wrote a song called "Rain," and it's I, I liked it so much. It's it's part of this new thing. Is it from the third album? No, no. it's on the second one. Oh, the one that the one that no one's heard. So you'll hear it again. We had that we had that experience too. We had an odd um, odd song lineup, no, and then we needed <laughs> one more song. So JJ and I came up with Kailan Man. Oh, really? Yeah, like. Like right away, lang Jay, Kela, we need one more song. Yeah. What do you want me to do? I need, I need music. And then we wrote. Nice. And then, and then that's it, nice. Those are nice up. things, but that's yeah. seldom going to happen for me. Okay. Now speaking of you, tell us how do you write a song? I don't care if it's a week long process. There are people who want to write songs. How will they write songs? I listen to a lot when I'm not <clears throat> with anybody, and it's just me in the car alone by myself. I listen to a lot of scores. I love scores. So like Star Wars, Batman, Godfather, name it. You really had to say Batman. I love Batman. <laughs> Danny Elfman, Batman. I love that. Anyway, all those things from movies, from like the 80s and all that. Because the music told the story. Yeah. Everybody uses the lyrics and melody, but the music told the story. So I noticed with doing this new project, I have like one minute intros for most of them, and I'm like, should I cut it like everybody does, or it's free? You know, like, who cares, right? Just keep it. But I like the storytelling of the music. I love instrumentals. So now in in albums, I'm gonna put the instrumentals in just for kicks and just to you know like to to change your your song 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 and okay instrumentals thank God song song song. I love instrumentals. So when I write the music, when I write a song, it's always the music first. It's always the arrangement, so I can see. Let's put a break here, so it doesn't you know, and then the words come next. So I see excitement there. Kinda. So this next project that you're doing, how yeah. excited are you about it? I'm only excited because it's what I want out of it. There's no yeah. like label going nah, yeah, yes, none of that, and they're not touching my my mastering, my mixing, my. Tell me about that. Speaking of that, you had that experience in Manila where people were trying to dictate how you looked, how you sounded. Yeah. And the, the, it, it upsets me because now people can do whatever they want in Manila. Right. Music is changing back home, and it's great. It's really, really great. We have like four of spades. Look at how they dress. You all the bangs. All the not just the hairstyle. It, it's really how they are. That's not. Yeah. They really dress like that. Yeah. And it's them. We have um, Ben and Ben, and they, you know, they're they're, they're literally endorsed, sponsored, sponsored by H and M. So really? they, all, they all look so great on stage. I'm like. I'd look great too if you gave me those clothes, exactly. right? But you you have that. They they now they can do whatever they want. They have that freedom. But with me, because I'm the son of whoever I'm the kid of, and I need to look the 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 part the part that part three for me. I'm not I'm not second. Oh, my grandparents were also oh yeah 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 this, right. That's, that's true. So I have to be point three version of those guys. They want me to wear you know, and I'm not their body type. I can't wear the yeah the stripes you know. But yeah. back then, so. I don't think I dress that terribly. I can, I can. No, no, no. You have your. You, I can you, wear. You, a thing. I can dress up if I wanted to. But you look good. But um, like this beard, everybody gives me crap for the beard. Everybody. Why did you grow the beard? Because everyone gives me crap for the. So beard. I'm not really. All I want to say is, why don't you listen to me on the radio? It's the same song, right? But you're gonna judge me because I'm overweight with the beard. You know what? Sometimes I mean, no offense against the the <coughs> Filipinos. I love my uh, my fellow Kababayans, but it's true though. They would give props to someone who looks pretty. Yep. Kahit wala sa tono. Exactly. So my point for this beard and my physique, because I'm never going to be thin. I'm going to lose weight, but I'm going to get really, really bulky. That's the most fit I'm ever going to look. I'm never going to be thin. My point is, just because I look like this doesn't mean I'm a bad singer. Right. But you're going to promote... The tone deaf right? angel, right? right? So, and some of those people, 
dicks. Don't censor that. <laughs> Super dicks. Don't yes. censor that. And I've seen them. Like I totally agree. <clears throat> I will. I, I treat everyone exactly the same. I will treat the head of ABS-CBN exactly the same way I treat his janitor with a handshake. Yes. Firm. Look into their eyes. Iba, iba, we're people. Entitled. But some people will kiss his ass. Yeah. And will yell at someone who didn't bring the right shoes. Oh yeah. That's balls. And you do that to me. I sing. I can play. When you watch me, you're like, "Well, you're good, pala," and it's because you're looking at my beard. You think I'm gonna shoot you. Right. And that's true. I've had people on the street call me that, and I'm like, I don't care what you say. This shows me how racist you are. But that's very real. So I have tattoos. People don't like that either. Um, and it's not the rebellious thing. It's more of you're one of those, and you don't have to listen to my music because I won't sing for you. That's my kind of thing. So <coughs> with regard to that, when did you make that decision? When did you, when did you have that epiphany now? You know what? I am going to go against the grain. <laughs> so that I will let the music redeem the image. I think I've been like that my whole life. Uh, <laughs> even before the music. Because people think, my mom and dad like to say that, um, my mom and dad love the spotlight. And they will always treat me like I'm a kid. <laughs> so my whole life, everyone thinks I'm on, I'm on a phone or on a Game Boy, that I'm an introvert. I'm, pretty, I'm kind of introverted, don't get me wrong. But I'm listening to all of you. Oh. I've listened to everyone oh. backstage <laughs> in your, in your pre-prods. <laughs> I hear all of you. And so dead, my dead, my I'm dad. just like, that's what I don't want to be in this industry. And I'm not a big fan of entitled people. Thank not you. a big fan. Thank and you. this job is, is yeah, you make, if, you, if you do it right, you got a lot of money, you get famous. Yeah. But that doesn't mean... You get to be a dick. That's true. <laughs> because really, you don't know how to do anything. If that's your route, man, good luck. Like the second you're not famous, you're going to yeah. be eating your expensive leather shoes your whole life. Yep. So that's, be grateful. Like that's it. Be nice to the people that brought you here. Be nice to your fans. If I see anyone yelling at a fan, I, I will not speak to that person. And I've seen that. I've seen managers yell at fans. I've seen artists yell at fans. And I'm like, dude, they give you your bread and butter. Like, it's because of them you have such a nice lifestyle. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah. So, speaking of that, I'm, and I'm with you 100%, no? <coughs> so now, <clears throat> we, we have the same principles of being grateful and being nice to our fans and our friends. What if, because you're going home this year, 2020, right? For a while. It's not even for me. Yes. But what, but what if they're ready for Robin? No one's ready for Robin. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> but what if they're ready for Robin? I'm guaranteed they're not. But oh. if they are, they're still not getting me. Because? Because. You're going to say no? I, firstly, I will say no. Secondly, I've had people tell me, you are not <coughs> worth this. Explain. Explain. Let's see how blunt I can be without saying any names. If I say names, that's what you answer. Not the bad oh, word. Okay. Not the bad Do word. Do say not the, oh, So, <laughs> Robert, so, lower your mic a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I know. So, I did a show. And Z and I had just started dating. They, Z is, um, for unbiasedly, and not because we're, we're the closest of friends, she's my favorite singer in Manila. Okay. She's one of my favorite singers I've ever heard on the radio. Right. And, and writer. I think she's fantastic. Wherever she goes in the world, if she sings in front of people, she's going she's gonna to win them. That's just how I feel about her. So I knew that they wanted her. I don't mind you just getting her, okay? You can just get her. <clears throat> but I don't know what they were going for. They called me for it, and I did a show with her. I don't mind that. I love that. Yeah. I'll, I'll sing with her all day. But I knew that they wanted her. So I did three shows. Straight. And at, on the fourth one, I didn't get a call. Oh. Now, that's not the part that upsets me. Because I know, dude, dude if the ship is sinking and you have to save one of us, Z, go. It'll be Z. It'll be, I'm, I'll die. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> like, I got you. What upset me was, on paper... On paper, 
they raised my price when I sang with her. And I was like, oh, cool. Nice. Nice. I'm not going to complain. Yeah. But when they give you this paper, it's already signed by two people who are at the top of this, this company. In other words, the people that released the check. <clears throat> Saw it before they gave it to me. Oh, of course. I signed the check. Now, you can't, um, you can't cash in this for a whole month. So I did three shows. Okay. I was supposed to get paid 10, 10, 10. I go, wait so in line. 30,000. 30, yeah. I go in line. And when I give him the checks, the guy, the thing doesn't say anything. He's not supposed to give me the real check. 15 was the check. Oh, what happened to... And I said, but it said 10, 10, 10, not 5, 5, 5. Right. 5 is my real price. Right. If, the, if they said 5 yeah. at the, at, from the get-go, yeah. right? So now, they didn't say anything. I'm there three weeks straight. So I got a call. I, I called the, the other name on the thing. And she goes, I'm sorry. Real words. You're only worth five. Ouch. And I said, I don't mind. I, you, I, I would have done it for free. Right. But this is on paper. This is like <sighs> you signed it already. Touch move your knee. And if you only just told me on the second week, sorry, we made a mistake, I would have been fine. Yeah. But I waited a whole month. I, I, wow. I let it all come in, and now you're telling me this. And now I'm not even singing with her. Wow. So I accompanied her after that to that show all the time. And I said hi to that person's face every single time I was there. But you never performed anymore. No, and I will never do it again. Yeah. Even, even if I become, and I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to be, but let's say, you, let's go back to your thing. Yeah. If they, are they if, ready for Robin right. Rivera? No. <laughs> but if they are. No. But if they are, you're not going back to no. that show. Yeah. It's not about money for me. You can give me a million bucks. I'll still say no. It's, it's about your principle. It's because yeah. I have not changed. Right. Nothing about me. And people like me for don't change. Are. We just want to sing. Yeah. Like, we just want to write our songs, which you still won't promote. We'll sing the songs you want us to sing. Your way, even though that's not the way right. we're... I've never sung a, a song in my key, <clears throat> ever. Right. You know, so you're always like, Robin's kind of off. Yeah, it's not my key, but I don't say anything. I'm like, I'm, I'm a musician. I'll sing it Aren't you supposed key. to say something? No, you're not supposed to say anything. So ah. I didn't accept the money. I did a show two months later after that because it was Father's Day. So my dad was... I said no initially, and my dad was like, please. <laughs> And I go, fine. So, the, say no. so this lady came up to me with the same thing. I said, keep it. She goes, what? I said, I don't want it. Good for you. I didn't even look at it. I was like, okay, I'm not going to tear it in front of you. Just say no. Yeah. So I have not accepted money from them in the last two years. I've said no to every show that they've offered me. Um, unless my dad calls me and says, pretty it, please. Yeah. He doesn't say do it. He just says, please. And I'm like, sure, but I'm still not going to accept that thing. So if that day comes where they're ready for Robin Uvera or whatever my name will be, it's still going to be no. Because I remember that day. It wasn't about money for me. It was more of you just told me to my face yeah. that I'm not worth it. And now I, I write music. And that's the thing I, I love to do, you know. But if you're going to tell me that I'm not worth it, you could just get it. You didn't need me at all for that. I know that I'm not the, the face of... OPM or the sound of OPM and that's not that's not something I'm, I'm gunning for I'm trying to be a Filipino who sings and writes music that someone from Africa will sing one day you know that's the goal and um, I want to do it as a Filipino you know not not I want to be this OPM star who sings in Indonesia and that's your claim to fame to be an international but, star but you know what <clears throat> what's What's uh, unique about you, what's unique about you is, number one, the songs you write are pang international. That's what everybody says. Because it's true. And, and what's so nice about <coughs> that is it's in line with what you want to achieve. Wherein someone from another place will be singing your song. Or, exactly. That's the other goal. Right? I don't want to sing someone else's song. I want someone else to sing my song. And because your song is actually themed for the international market, that could easily be achieved. Because people write for the Filipino market, 
That's a different. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a whole different job. That's, ikaw, there's there's nothing wrong with that. You don't do that. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I was like, I want to try. Diba, it, Jay, I, mean, this year, I really can't do that. I really, I'm trying. Because when I first, <coughs> before I met you, I met your songs. Okay. What did you hear? You heard Home, No Home, More Light. Home, uh, No More Light. Uh, Love and War. Love and War, Sound Tripping. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> I know. Remember I said you that beep? Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's laughing, Robin. <laughs> But we were like, oh, my God, this, this, this guy can write songs. And you were like, <coughs> you were like writing real intelligent songs. They're not that intelligent. They're just not coming out of my butt. I, I, I beg to disagree. The arrange. Okay, tell tell the audience who arranged the songs. Me. Who played on the last album? Me. Everything you. Well, that's because. Yes. 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 <laughs> Not gonna respond to it. <laughs> My. You can contradict yourself. I can't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly <laughs> do I. And so JJ and I and, and Vic, we were listening to it and we were going. But I need you to know oh. that I never do these albums by myself. Yeah. Like I always have someone, like my friend Mike, he's my drummer in Manila. He always sits with me and I always say, what can I change? And I never say no to what he says. I always have a different bassist, always have a different keyboardist because I only know so much. I'm right. a guitarist. They're going to be so guitar heavy if it was all me. But I want everyone to be involved. So they, all, my, all my songs have different bassists, different keyboards, because I, I have three people play the bass, and I'm like, which one do I like the most? Ah. Just so it's not like, okay, because it's so predictable to play that, you know, boom, 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 boom. I want someone, excuse me, I want someone to enjoy the song and enjoy yeah, yeah, yeah. playing it. Yeah. So I'll tell you the chords. That's all I'm going to tell you. And you do whatever else. Yeah. So they change it, and I'm like, you'll hear it from the new one, as compared to what I did in there, where it was mostly me. That's why I like the new ones more. Because my friends who've been playing with me for years, they know it like the back of their hand and they're just having fun right, with right, it. Right, right, right. So be collaborative yeah. thing. But, but the thought process that went into all these songs, like even, even, even the style of our arrangement, like introverse, pre-chorus, chorus, and then bridge and all that stuff. <laughs> I have one though. I do have, a, I do have <sighs> a thing. I've noticed it and it bothers me. What? It bothers me that I have the same formula for all my songs. Eh? Because right now, all these, like we were talking about EDM going out the window for yeah. 2020 and all that Sana. stuff, right? Four chords beginning to end and that's it. Yeah, I don't like that. By the way, people think Light to Heaven is four chords beginning to end. <laughs> <laughs> It's not true. <laughs> It's not true. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. You need songs like yeah, that. Yeah, you need yeah, those yeah. songs. And that, that's such a popular song. But... You know, but I hate it when people go, ah, that's the AGA. No, it's not. Isn't there? Then that, that's their fault. They'd be like, then you don't know how to play it. <laughs> diba? Parang, you mo are, intro you feeling are... mo, alam mo rin <laughs> I know. I know. I, and I love it. I'm like, you, you think you're so smart. <laughs> I love it. So what's, what's next for you? After this, we're making a website for me. After this, yeah, tonight we're making a website. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, from, from, uh, from, uh, January 2020 to December 2020 let's forget about February that week are we going to to experience a Robin Rivera album I hope so that, that, that if that comes out that'll come out latter 2020 so I don't oh. like to rush it but I want shows oh. that's why I'm releasing these songs again okay okay so you don't wait for that I don't want to rush the new songs because I have an idea of where I want them to go And it's, it's, more, it's more difficult than the old ones. <laughs> for me, for me. It's more difficult for me. I'm like, man, I, I tried writing a new song and I came up with this riff. I go, I have no idea if I can remember this again. Let's talk about your, your <coughs> the songs that you performed here at Paco's Place. Uh, Which were Strut, Strut, No More Light, No More, no more Light, and Hope. Let's talk about Hope. Okay, what do you want to know about Hope? The music video. People okay. are talking about the music video. They've seen the music video. Men, um, no, and my, my question is you, bet, you mentioned off cap. Have you even seen the No More Light music video? No, okay, now you gotta watch that. Now, now that you've all seen Home, you gotta watch No More Light, okay. But aren't you gonna do uh, a remake of the Home I music do, video? I want to do all of it again, but you'll be, <laughs> I'm the girl. <laughs> 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 that girl. 
<laughs> You'll be. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, I called my cousin Alex. She was going through like this yoga Instagram phase. And I just needed a muse. Uh-huh. The whole music video was supposed to just be about La Union. That's why I shot it. Okay. I'm, my mom is very good friends with, uh, with Joy Ortega. I told her the idea. She goes, come here this, this weekend. And she just took care of us. She brought us to all the places she wanted us to market. I told her, say it, would be, it wouldn't be a music. It would, it's a music video, but it looked like a La Union commercial. That's how I told her. So she took care of our, our food, lodging, took us to all these places. They drove us. <clears throat> and I just like, you're not going to care about these beaches. So I brought my cousin. And all she did was yoga poses. That's all you, did. you directed this, right? My, I have a friend who's a director, Paolo Haminola, back okay. home. So we used one drone and one... Camera? Osmo. Oh. There, there was the first Osmo, oh, too. That's really? It. We only had those two things. And that was it? That was it. And we just, we just winged it. We just shot down waterfall, waterfalls on the, on the beaches and all that. That's it. That's all we did. So if you guys don't know what Robin and I are talking about... You got to watch my, the whole I'm going to post video. a link in the description... And then let us know if you want Robin to rep- uh, reprise. <laughs> We're going to do that video again. <laughs> the road. But here in California. Oh, so what's No More Lights? <clears throat> what? No music More video? That was the first music video. I was so excited to do it because it had been my first music video in three years. And No More Lights I was so excited to release because it was also the first song to yeah, release. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was supposed to, I was telling the director, we got to do this. And I don't care what the, what the, what the video is. It's all up to you. I just want it out by this day. So who, who was the director? I won't say the name. Oh, okay. I won't. Nah. But kept pushing it back. And here's the, I gave him a date. Like, this is the last day to do it. Because in five days, it's got to go to mix. Mix is. MTV. Were you always thinking? <clears throat> no. Okay. I wasn't even with Wish yet. Oh. I was almost with Wish. So he canceled on me. Ooh, five days before. Five days before. So I called my friend, Paolo. I go, we, we got to do this video. He goes, you have an idea? I go, I have a, I have a small idea. <laughs> so we went to, our, to, to his um, office, which is Soundcheck in Manila. Soundcheck? Yeah. So he had bought three warehouses. Okay. Now, 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 if you go there, if I point out the spot where we shot it, there's already something over it. It's, it's not the same. Okay. But because there was not a lot of things there, we just picked one wall, got three trusts, and yeah. we, we bought... <clears throat> Nine light bulbs. We spent 300 pesos on those light bulbs. And that was the whole music video. What camera? We used a, a drone. Because all the cameras were locked in the office. Oh. So we used the camera of the drone. And then you were holding the drone. No, no. We, we put it on a, on a, on a thing because the whole thing looked yeah, yeah, like yeah. it was one shot. So watch it again. It's really, it's really homemade. Super last minute. And I had fun doing it because we did it in three hours. That was it. That was the whole video. Three hours long. I, I even put in a dog in the video and the director of the video. I put him in the shot. Was there a music video of yours that you directed? That one. That one okay. home with him. We both directed them together. That home, Let Me. We don't, I don't even perform Let Me. That was a dance video. Um, that's it, really. You still, uh, for, for this new album, who will, uh, will you, will you, Will you do your music videos here in the States? Or? Oh, yeah, man. Like, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it here. Okay. California is so random. I want to I wanna direct a music video. Let's do one with the forest fire. I see, I see. <laughs> Hello, man. Wow. Oh. You know what, guys? Just, just so that Robin's here, I want everybody to know that you and Zia and your performance on Wish, Which one? whatever it was, was what inspired me to do Paco's Place. Really? Yes. But you haven't done a performance like that. Because I can't. Oh, Because I can't. But then again, I figured if... Because Janelle goes, you better watch this. And then I watched you and, and Zia. Oh. And in fairness to you, I did not notice your beard. No one really does. See? It's not that big. No, but I don't. I did, yeah. I did not. I was like, wow. Where do we get a bus? Where like, do we get a bus? <laughs> no, but sabi ko, I want to do something like that in the States. And then I was fortunate enough to meet you, meet the people of Wish. And then now I have Paco's place. Yeah. So, so thank you. Oh, cool. Thank I'm glad. you. That's still, that's still Wish you got to thank. 
No, I, I thank them already. The, yeah, you thank them already. So, so I'm thanking you now. <laughs> I had tap- nothing to do with that. Tapos na ako, like, uh, like Aaron even donated the camera. Yeah, which one? That one? Uh, no, the other one. Okay. <laughs> so that's that's why I say, uh, like, thank you now as a wish. I'm also saying thank you to you. Because it was Janelle's, it was Janelle's, uh, ano ba yun? Initiation. Yeah. Shake side, look at this couple, oh. What song was it? Do you remember? I think, was it? Um, the, 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 Which one? Is it the scientist? Oh, oh, the scientist. scientist. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was fun. You know, we should do that. You and me? You and me. Tribute to... That? To you and Zia. I'll sing. <laughs> to that song. <laughs> to that number. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know how to play it anymore. <laughs> I will sing. So, I think I was off in that song too. You think? Yeah, I, I couldn't. I, I backed her up wrong. <laughs> she wasn't wrong. She wasn't wrong. I, when I hear it, I'm like, I'm wrong. <laughs> so, ito tanong ko sa yo. Uh, let's go full circle, but not really. What What do you see yourself as? A guitar player or a singer? Sex symbol. Right. Just kidding. Um. No, you were not. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Was <laughs> guitarist or singer? Guitarist. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> you think on the other way? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Dahil magaling ka na I'm okay. The way I, the way I'm thinking about it is this: I can play with you instantly. Yeah. With anyone, like, yes. I, like, like Robin here, like, just yeah. jam with us. Okay. Yeah. But if you say Robin, sing with me. I don't know all the songs and I don't know how to harmonize. Some people can, Zia can harmonize on the spot. A lot of, my dad and mom can, my, my dad can harmonize on the spot. A lot of great singers can harmonize on the spot. I would like to get there. That's a great singer. You're not there yet. I, I, I can a bit if let it's me, like an me, easy song. Well, let me tell you how to get there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you saw my performance. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> what do you think I see myself as? A drummer, singer. I think you're the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like there was this one that you actually bailed on me when I was singing. I didn't bail on you. You sang my song. <laughs> <laughs> you sang when I got in. So I was like, I can't sing this. I can't, I can't sing anymore. I don't know that many songs to sing. But if you see that night, the night yeah. you're talking about, yeah. if you had me just stand the whole night, I would have played the Any, whole night. The whole song. I, I mean, even it. if I don't know the song, I'll, I'll like try to find a way to, to do it. That's why I say guitar because I, I'm more comfortable just playing. Did you did you uh, study formally gu- guitar lessons like like for kids? Like when I was uh, when I was Yamaha. I think there were Yamaha teachers in my school. So okay. what it was is it was a music class, and I didn't want to sing. I didn't want to play the piano. I didn't want to learn theory because I'm lazy. So I did guitar because it was like okay maybe this might be. This might be the easiest one from all of it. It was not. But did you know you could sing even at a young age? No. I didn't want to sing. Ah. I didn't want to sing. Because then everyone would be like, you should sing with your parents. And I was like, I don't want to do that. So going back, talagang rebelde ka. Kind of. But then, <laughs> but then I started to write. I wrote songs for church. And my cousins and them kept changing the keys of my songs. Why? And I'm like, why? Because they couldn't hit my key. I'm like, but that's not... It sounds, I mean, because you, when you're a kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. the G is easier to play yes. than an F, right? Yes. So I was like, I want to play it in G. So I was like, I'll sing it. Get out of here. <laughs> and then you started singing so I was that. like, now I'll do it. <laughs> so aside from the guitar, uh, aside from the, the church or those kind of lessons, how did you progress into the guitar player that you are? You just play with other people. Like, don't, don't be picky. Don't be like, I don't want to learn jazz. I don't want to learn... Uh, what else is there? I don't want to learn ska music. Don't just be like, just be like a sponge. Uh-huh. You know, learn all of it. You don't have to be the best jazz player, the best rock player, but at least now you know how to play with these people. Right. You know, it's it's just getting along with everyone. Who's your favorite uh, local or Filipino guitar player from the Philippines? Oh, man. Oh, there's so many. Three. Of them. Three, huh? They're not even famous. John Apura. Because... Because what, what what I just said, yes, he, he can play with anybody. And the reason why I'm asking you is because I want our listeners and our viewers to. to he's Google not even. Them. He's not even a performer. I mean, he's, I mean, he's the musician for 
Abed Danzel. Okay. He's, he's Abed's guitar player. So if they search you Julianne. If you tap down Abed, you'll see him. Okay. So find him. He's... What's his name? Uh, John Apura. Okay. You so can find him on Instagram too. But there's John Apura. He but Who he, else? He, 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 you know when you do a solo? Yeah. Perf will will go nuts, right? Yes. Uh, Vic goes nuts. I I play the I play like I don't know what you guys say about me, but when he plays, he sings. You know uh-huh. what I mean? You can sing what he plays, right? And it's still creative. That's why he's one of my favorites. Um, from from right now, the guitarist of Ben and Ben, uh, his name Pacho Pacho. I forgot his name. He's so good. Why? Because he um, when I play when I play a solo. And I didn't like rehearse for it. I will go to like three things that I play and try to in- improvise those three things. He doesn't. He doesn't seem like he plays like that. He seems like he really. He, he knows. He seems like he really thought of it uh, before he came in that night. Even and, even if it's improv, and it's, and even it's, if yeah, it's even if it's improv, and it's really clean. It's clean and it's complicated. It's very hard to do at the same time. When it's complicated, it's just messy and it's fast. Yeah. And then when it's clean, it sounds like, you know, you're, like, you're, you're, you're oh, making well, them there. But he's like a good mix of both. And the th- third. One, three? The third is always hard. Though. I know, because... Because now you have to fit in the rest three. as the third. That's, that's Ben and Ben. That's John. Um, I'm going to say the guitarist of Zia's band. Jazzy. Um, that's, that's why... All the guitar. Where is the name? Wait, then. I'm from where I want to get his name. I haven't seen him in a long time. But you know, when guitarists, all of us, we're all gonna ask each other, "Look at your pedals." Uh-huh. We all look at our gear. We're like, wow. That, and then in your head, you're like, "That's why you can play that because you have that pedal, and that's why you can do that because you have, you know." And he doesn't come in with any pedals. He just plays. And then when I play, when I when I do a solo, I bend a lot. Sometimes that's because I don't know what else, where else to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just bend like crazy. Even Perf does it. Everybody does. He, <laughs> he makes it a purpose. He makes it his thing to never bend the string. Really? That is so difficult to do. He'll slur, slide. Right? He'll, no, he'll, nope. he'll, he'll, he'll slide a bit, but it's, it's, it's more... He's like a... If every guitar player is a poet and a writer, he's, he's a mathematician. Like that, precise. I don't know how you really are. You, like, you know where you're going and it's just, he just plays fast. And then when he doesn't do a solo because he's a jazz band, he just he plays with, what he needs to play. He stays there. He doesn't go anywhere out of that. And then when it's time to, to really, it's, it's your time, man, goes nuts. So he'll, he'll back everybody up. And until, then he'll, until it's time. Until it's yeah. his time. And oh, he's, shut up. He doesn't talk to anyone. What is this? What's his name? Wait, wait, I'm gonna, Google it. I will Google it right now. Hold on. Jay, can you I'm, Google uh, no, I, got, I got it, I got it. Robin, lower your your mic. <coughs> Sorry. Man, I don't I cannot believe I don't remember his name. Dondi. Oh my gosh. Dondi who? I sorry. I, uh, I don't I, the last names are bad with, but Dondi, you know who you are. So that's extrapolation, Dondi. Um <laughs> my god, let's get bad and bad guitars. <laughs> I'm gonna say their names right. Because I've met I've met him and he's such a great guy too. Wait, Langa. We gotta get it right because they're so good, and I refuse to get this wrong. Of course, Poch Barreto. So there's a uh, John Apora, Poch Barreto, John Poch, and, and um, Dondi. Dondi. Okay, now before we go, and this conversation will go on for hours. I know, and you guys can chime in in the comments. But we, we hit fifty two, right? Yeah, we did. Boom! So, sorry, sorry, Jay. <laughs> Knocked off. <laughs> As a guitar player. I'm gonna have fun. Are you ready for your answer? For what? What's the question? It's an it's an oh. question, and you better back it up. You can't you can't swim on both. <coughs> okay. Okay. I'll try. The tone. What about tone? Is it in the fingers or the gear? Oh, it's in the fingers. It's you know, you know that's fifty percent of the of the argument. No, but right? but see, look, look. Okay, the, go, with, go. With, 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 <laughs> With what I just said about um, Dondi from extrapolation, oh. and um, before so with- Ikao, you so wait, hold on. Okay, for the record, you subscribe to the fact that the tone is in the fingers. Yes. Okay, go. Okay. I don't care how expensive your guitar is, or what you have, you're stepping on, or what your amp is. If if you have five pedals on and you're playing a song, yeah, you're you're good for that song. 
but come play a song that we just want to write without your pedals. Let's see how how creative you can be. Not saying that you're a bad guitarist, right? But for me, when you just like that 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 Dondi guy, he has no pedals. He just plays the guitar he bought. His guitar is very expensive, but man, it, when you have no pedals, you can't hide behind anything. It's really all theory and logic and more than any of those fancy words that's practice 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 and that's all you do as a musician you need to practice it's like working out you never get worse i don't think you ever get worse but you can always get better even if it's just a little bit and that's what that's why we all practice right so for me when i'm trying i bought so many pedals <coughs> being i have this i have one pedal i have five pedals that do the exact same thing this is not going to happen this year anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. That's so you expensive. Need, you need an apartment. I know. <laughs> but now I'm trying to see what I need right. to make. The, you know, the, I need the heavy sound, the dirty sound, and I need some delay. That's really all I need. But I can hide behind the pitch, the, the wah, the, all that. But if I take that away, if I take all your pedals away, can you still play with like a 50, like a kitty guitar? Uh-huh. Can you still make that sing? Then you're on my favorite guitar list. Okay. As a kid, my favorite guitars before was The Edge from U2. But he's all gear. He's all gear. So I watched a, I watched a documentary called... With, uh, with, ja, uh, with Jack, Jack White, White and, and Jimmy, uh, Page. Jimmy Page. Yeah. Jimmy, like, they were talking about, how did you write this U2 song? And Edge goes to his, his whole gear in the back. Right. He stepped on five things and he played one thing. He did that. And I go, oh, that's how you play that song. And then... Some Jack White goes, how do you play Cashmere by yeah. Led Zeppelin? And here comes this old man, Jimmy Page, no pedals, one amp, and he starts playing the whole thing like an orchestra. I was like, that's why he's my favorite. He had nothing. He just said, I'm going to show you guys how to play. And the both of them were like, wow. <laughs> I was playing, as to playing one note on the thing and yeah, having the delay yeah. do all the work. Here comes Jimmy Page playing Cashmere. I'm like, that's, that's what I want to be when I go old. No pedals. Just me, a guitar, and, you know, just be able to walk around and be like, these are the notes I played, and this is what I did. That's why I came up with that theory. Nice. <coughs> Party words. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm not done. <laughs> that's, that's why I was so sick for two weeks. Well, we hope you feel better. I, I mean, this is, this is the first of many podcast episodes to come. Fantastic. 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 It's fantastic. Now, parting words because um, you're fans and you do have fans. If they want to see you, they can always click on the link in the description. But what can they expect from you in 2020? 2020, you're going to hear a lot of my music. That's 100% sure because I'll be releasing... A song a month. And we'll post the link on the the link of your website Thank here. You. Because we'll we're, ma- we're making yeah. it here also. Yes. <laughs> That's right. We're going to do it. I don't know what the website is yet, but you'll hear it very, very soon. So you're going to hear mu- you're gonna hear a song a month at least from me. That's 100% going to happen. Um, Are you still going to uh, do shows, live shows? I, gonna do, I hope we do live shows. Okay. That's really what I want to do. Follow me on the Instagram and the Facebook and the Twitter if you do that. It's just at Robin Yubera. Very, very easy. That's the best way to find out where I'll be, where I'll right. be performing. Yeah. I'm sure I'm performing with you. Of course. And then you, JJ, not, not the crowd. <laughs> the what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope for the performances. I hope to write new music. That's going to be the, 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 the more exciting part for the year. So we'll see what happens. I don't know what, what else will happen this year. It's going to be different. Well... That's it. We're going to end it there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Robin Guevara, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, we deserve a round of applause. like to thank you guys. Please don't forget to follow, subscribe, Paco's download, place. and uh, make us your habit. Tama ba? Yeah. Make us your habit. <laughs> make us your habit. Yes. <laughs> Get Come addicted. Live on Paco's Place. <laughs>